In this lesson, we'll learn how to create sheet music from a student composition in Ableton Live. We'll learn how to edit the MIDI regions, export them as a MIDI file, and then import them into a music notation editor like Sibelius. All right, so uh, this is a student MIDI composition and has four basic tracks. You have a melody part, a bass part, a harmony part, and a percussion part. And what we want to do is we want to take this melody line and we want to export the MIDI from it and then import it into Sibelius so that we can turn it into sheet music. And then once it's sheet music, we can turn that part into any instrumentation and any key. So if you had a student that played flute or clarinet or trumpet and they wanted to perform with these tracks from Ableton Live, you can kind of create these um, electroacoustic ensembles with acoustic instruments and then parts from uh, your composition. So let's take a look. Let's take a listen to uh, the the composition to start off with. All right, so this part is, um, it sounds like it, it's an, a, an electric guitar part, and we want to export only the MIDI notes from that so we can have it played by any instrument. So first thing you want to do is we want to double click inside the clip, and that's going to open up the MIDI editor here at the bottom of the screen. And let's take a look at the notes. Um, first thing we want to check out are, are there any notes that are overlapping? So if we zoom in, we can see that, yeah, we have notes that are overlapping. And this was MIDI that was performed live. So the reason that's not good is because um, this is going to be played by a monophonic instrument. So we can't have any parts that are multiple voices. Um, the other reason is that we want to give Sibelius the easiest possible time to turn this into clean sheet music. So there's some things that we can do to edit the MIDI that will make it easier for Sibelius to recognize um, notes and rhythms. Um, the other thing we want to look at is if the, the MIDI notes are ending on a specific quantization. So if we right click in our Piano Roll Editor and change our fixed grid to 16th note, we know that we're looking at 16th notes here in Ableton Live. So let's turn off our triplet grid and only look at 16th notes. So we have one E and a. Uh, so let's fix this MIDI so that it's easier for Sibelius to recognize. So if we select Command A and select all of the notes, then if we right click and open up our quantize settings menu, we can see we can quantize to any number of these durations. And I know for this part, the smallest duration of note that we have is a 16th note. So that's all I want to quantize to is a 16th note. Um, a couple other things we can check out is we can change the, the starting quantization, which is when the note starts. And this is interesting, we can also change the end quantization. And this is really important so that we know that the note ends on uh, a 16th note and then it doesn't overlap to the next note. The amount is going to change how much it quantizes. So if we have it 100%, it's going to go all the way to the nearest 16th note. If we lower this down, it's going to go a percentage to the nearest 16th note based on when it starts. So we're going to change this to 100%. And uh, when I hit OK, we're going to see the notes snap into place. Great. So now if I zoom in, I can see that I don't have any more overlapping notes and every note starts and stops on a 16th note. All right, now that we've edited our MIDI region, let's go ahead and export the clip as a MIDI file and get it ready to be imported into Sibelius. So if we go to our clip that says Melody and we right click, we're going to see an option to export MIDI clip. So let's select this and choose a name for the MIDI file. So let's just keep this as Melody and then pick a destination. So I want to export this to my desktop and then click Save. So here's our Melody MIDI file that we just created. So it's melody.mid and that .mid indicates that this is a standard MIDI file. And this will be the file that we import into Sibelius. 
All right, now let's import our MIDI file in Sibelius. So here in the first menu, we're gonna be under the Import tab, and let's click MIDI file. So after you selected the MIDI file, there's some settings that I would recommend uh, when you import the MIDI file. So one is under this tab that says MIDI file, let's make sure that only one staff per track is selected. Then under the notation tab, let's select the minimum duration as the minimum duration for this part. So I know that the smallest duration of note for the melody is going to be a 16th note. So it's not going to read any um, 64th notes, any 32nd notes, any rhythms that's going to make it hard to read. Um, I also want to change in the tuplets menu, if I know that there's no... Uh, any any type of tuplet, I want to select all of these to none. So it doesn't read some rhythm as a tuplet that's not supposed to be a tuplet. So once you've selected all of your settings and hit OK, here's what you're left with. And this is our melody that we composed in Ableton Live now is sheet music. Mm -hmm. 